This is a little video that I made while I was recently in France by the Eiffel Tower. I saw a group of bikes that parked near the Eiffel Tower and decided to talk to some of the fellas that were there. The ones that spoke English were super friendly. I don't know if the other ones were friendly or not. I can't really tell. Most of the people in France that we interacted with were super friendly, but the bikers were more than willing to show me their bikes, and I think they knew that I was an American who didn't speak French. There was a couple of things I really didn't expect. I, I expected to see a variety of bikes. I expected to see the bikes that are popular in Europe with the two front wheels, like the Nikon. But one thing just jumped right out at me. Wherever we went, there were Moto Guzzies. And there were a lot of them. And there were even the, the V100, the exclusive one. They were, well, there were just bikes and Moto Guzzies everywhere. Now that was very shocking, but another thing, there were a lot of KTMs. I just I just couldn't believe how many, I thought there were gonna be a lot of BMWs and Ducatis. Being honest, I did not see a single Ducati in France. Now, not a real good sampling though, to be honest. I was only there for 10 days. Anyway, KTMs. But the people were very willing to show me the motorcycles. And even these, these the bikes like a Nikon that have two front wheels, they were everywhere, and just a lot of them everywhere. Now, I think if I spoke French, I could have gotten more information about some of the bikes I wasn't really familiar with. But the ones I am familiar with, the Yamahas, Tracers, a lot of Tracers. Tracers seems to be a real popular bike in France. And some of the bikes that I, I'm really not familiar with, I don't know the models, whether they make unique models for France or for Europe, the Triumphs. There were a lot of Triumphs there, and the generic bikes we all know from the United States. Some of them you couldn't really tell. They had covers on them, and uh, this one I didn't know. I wasn't familiar with this, but it looks like that's one of the ones that uh, the fellow didn't speak English, so I really couldn't find out any information. But it was a nice, a nice real collection of bikes, and here's the Eiffel Tower. And this is basically early in the day when I was there. And the guy said, oh, just come back at night. Oh, the bikes will hang out here. Oh, and, well, you know, I didn't get a chance to because where the ship was that we were on, you could see the Eiffel Tower, but we were just too far of a walk to go. But I took another walk down. I wanted to just see so my friends could see. Uh, this is a typical date is the license plates and uh, what these, what the bikers, the bikers of France, one thing, they were riding in, every kind of weather and there was one day it totally rained i saw the same amount of bikes as the days it didn't rain and i made a separate video of a whole trip to france but i thought i'd just clip some of these outtakes here the interesting if you ever get to go to the eiffel tower you, you get to see a bunch of bikes too and docked right by our ship another interesting thing was there was a commuter park but the guys that were parking at the commuter park seemed like they drove in from outside of town and just left the bikes there. I don't know, I, I couldn't really tell what the deal was. And then it was a train that took them, I guess, into a, the par, a part of Paris where their jobs were. But, and a lot of people with those, those backpacks on the back, just a lot of bikes in general. Now, surprisingly, I thought I'd see some Harley Davidsons. I didn't see any. And but again, I have a small sampling. <coughs> a lot of people like this. They're riding and uh, they're in t-shirts, which I guess is typical of the United States too. This was pretty cool. The guy had a Bee King with a custom exhaust here and he was working on it or doing something here. I couldn't tell because he didn't speak any English, but this was right where we were stationed with the boat and people were commuting in by it. This is the boat we were on, the Tapestry 2, the Avalon Tapestry 2. Now, all our time in France was just wonderful. The cities, the old world flavor of the cities. Not a lot of sport bikes. Did not see a lot of sport bikes, being honest. I don't think they are as popular as they are in the United States. Mostly like the, this would be an ordinary street bike. A lot of them and a lot of smaller bikes. And right by our ship, a hot air balloon for entertainment. I did not get to go on a ride. The day I was scheduled to go for the ride, there was a storm coming through and they canceled it. Going to see the Eiffel Tower at night. This is right from the front of the boat. That's how close to the Eiffel Tower we were. And they light it all up at night. It's spectacular. It's like a uh, 
couple thousand foot Christmas tree, absolutely spectacular. But every part of France that we were to is beautiful. The only negative thing I think some people would consider negative is a lot of graffiti everywhere, but there's graffiti everywhere, even in the United States. But it is just a wonderful place to visit. And I, for one, just love the riverboat cruising on Avalon. Now I'm making a special video of, that covers our trip to France on the riverboat. And I thought I'd pull out some of the motorcycle stuff so that the people that are not interested in going to France could see what the bike action looks like there. A lot of motorcycles and a nice variety and bikes I had never seen before. And just there's so many things to see in France, I'm sure. If uh, time allows, Karen and I are already planning to see another part of France. But it is a wonderful place to visit. And anybody's never been on a riverboat cruise, it is just, the I can't even consider any other way to go on vacation in the future. We have gone on four riverboat cruises, and I really look forward to going on more. They are really nice, really enjoyable. But now it's time to get back to our bike collection, get some riding in. The fall is coming up. And we've had a wonderful vacation. I hope you've enjoyed sharing this little snippet of what motorcycling is like in France. And boy, the thing that sticks in my mind, that lane splitting. We were going 70 miles an hour in a bus and they were lane splitting and going by us like, they, like we were standing still. Very cool. Thanks so much for watching.